Tarjeta amarilla, roja, azul, verde. Hold on to it. 
there was another white guy all the way back in the early 40s, 50s. Who was in the early 30s? Who uh, called me fat. Like if you're, if you're that, when I was, I was just like chunky. Like, like if you're like this when you're 16, you imagine when you're like 30. I heard that all my whole life in my fucking arms, bro. Fuck them, bitch. Fuck them, bitch. Bitch ass. Bitch ass, motherfuckers. And you fucking outrun them in like two seconds. Yeah. I'm like, okay, bro. And you're still equally like, as fair as the other guys. But I, I'm like, it's weird because. That's Cory, that guy was Hawaiian. That's Logan. Oh no, that was this other kid. I was a junior. I was 17, 16, 17. He was, he, he's, uh, he's also, he was also a year older than me. He was a year older than me. He picked me up once from for uh, the training. And that time they picked me up, there was a fire inside the house that I didn't come over. Oh, yeah, my apartment. And there's two instances. One was like, left a fan there, and I was looking around. She put the fan on the ground, and the fucking car got here. I wasn't there. I was the one who just put off the, the other one. I was in the, I was in the, I think everybody was in the, in the room. And, yeah, I was in the room. I think was, Diego was living there. And I don't know if you were saying with my mom. Diego was living there. Diego, the guy from Philip There were two people living with us. Was it 16? Huh? Which building? Building two? Nah, I don't remember. We moved here when I was six. Um, I think you were. You were a side building, you know? Yeah, both of them. I had my room, and then Eusebio and Diego had their room. I think you guys were sleeping around. I don't remember that part. And uh, I get out of the room, and everything is black, dude. And I like, lay down and get to the kitchen, and that's where everything's coming from. And she left the pan. She does that all the time. She looks like she, but she still does it. And it started like burning. I, I fucking took out the pan. I put water in it. No, I put a cloth, a wet cloth. Like it was on fire because it had a little something. It was all black. And I put the wet cloth and I grabbed another one and put it in my mouth. And I was just walking. And I, I got out. And I think uh, I went to the window to my mom and told her to stay there because, you know, the fucking smoke couldn't get in. Yeah. And somebody called the ambulance. The ambulance got there, and then that fucking guy showed up. <laughs> I was like, dude, we gotta go. And he's like, he's like, we gotta go. Oh my god, this guy. 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 And uh, I was like, dude, but my husband's on fire. He's like, what? Like, my apartment is like, fucking burning, man. And I left, dude. I left, and I was so pissed because I was the one translating the language. And I don't think you were. Probably was. Um, and Diego never left the room, but he was sitting there the whole time. Fucking smoke couldn't get in. Like, she woke up, like, right when the fucking ambulance was there. I didn't know he was there. Thank you. 